doesn't look like the rat's coming out. Ow! Darn rat! Very damp wall. The mortar's crumbling. Inviting? No. Comfortable? No. Adequate? Not even. A window right out of reach, taunting me. A complex drain system runs across the floor, perfect for getting rid of all that blood, sweat, and tears. Aha. No more rats, but there's something else there. A bracket. That's not quite right. The mortar's loose around the stone. I just have to scrape it away. There. Now I'll be able to pull the stone out of the wall. Out comes the block. Not bad, Yankee boy. Not the fastest I've seen, but at least I didn't lose my bet. Not that it do you any good. You're just breaking into the next cell. <laughs> now give me that bracket. You might cut yourself. Oh, and uh, someone's here to see you. I am Father Nicholas. This is Sister Immaculata. My son, you have suffered more than you deserve. I couldn't agree more. But remember, there are always others worse off than yourself. Oh, yeah? Well, I don't see them lining up to join me in here. News of your um, arrest reached our orphanage. The children understand that even the most damned of sinners may yet repent in the face of love and charity. Really? Nice of him to put it like that. They have donated these playthings to occupy your time until the execution. The what? Uh, I mean, uh, until the trial. From Jenap, these marbles. From Khalil, this little mechanical mouse. <laughs> From Erol, this squeaky toy. <laughs> and now, we must leave. There is a last client on death row in need of prayer. Yeah? Well, give him my best, huh? And, uh, thanks for the toys. Just what I always wanted. On the roof! One hour! Be there! What? Hey! What did you say? Execution? Just what I need. On the table, a piece of moldy cheese, which is just beginning to evolve. On the table, a piece of moldy cheese, which is just beginning to evolve. Aha. I know how this works. Now, if only I had a bit of string and a magnet, I could get the key in no time. On second thought, I don't really want to touch that cheese. If the rat doesn't want it, neither do I. A little mechanical mouse that you wind up. Let's give it a go. A rubber thing that talks when you squeeze it. That's not quite right. That's not the right approach. The marbles spread nicely in front of the door. Guard!
I can just reach the key. to do something about that guard. He's gonna wake up any minute. I could have sworn I saw my things on this table. Using that won't work. Should have gagged that guard and tied his hands. A nice gag. That'll stop him yelling. With his hands and feet tied together, he's going nowhere. Busy. Even with the toy, it won't let me pass. That's not quite right. That's not the right approach. If only I could distract the dog somehow. Quick, while it's busy. Got it. That's not such a good idea. Quick, while it's busy. That's not such a good idea. A can of corned beef. The opening key seems to the be missing. The mouse key is perfect for opening the can. Here, boy. Dinner. Back here. The guard with the dog will be back. Probably shouldn't risk it. Someone's taken the trouble of installing an extra firewall on this PC. I can't get in now. It says, warning. This museum uses an infrared alarm system. Do not enter when activated. Using that won't work. 
locked, and I can't squeeze under. Someone's taken the trouble of installing an extra firewall on this PC. I can't get in now. Guard with a dog will be back. Probably shouldn't risk it. That's not quite right. There's no way I can climb up there while the guards are patrolling the yard. Mousy. Sometime soon he's going to set off the alarm. I don't want to be around when that happens. while the guards are distracted by the alarm. Right. On the roof. Now, where is that priest?
a rubber thing that talks when you squeeze it. A loose stone lying on the roof. A loose stone lying on the roof. Speak to me, little Come toy. With me. Ah, perfect. Who's there? Play with me. Play with me. What the? Um, thanks for the toys, sister, but what do we do now? Pray for a miracle? No, Georges. You remain patient and ask politely. Nico! Mind my wimple, Georges. What would Father Nicholas say? But what are you doing here? Saving you from a heroic death, I think. Well, I appreciate it, but how did you get here, and, and what's with the outfit? Oh, Georges, when you didn't call for so long, I began to despair, and then... I decided to renounce the world. Oh my god. You mean, you really are... a nun? Hey, Georges. Get real. I'm just kidding. Yeah, I, I knew that. So, you fancy a swim? With you? Anytime. But how? I've got a zip wire all rigged up, ready and waiting. Well, what's keeping us? Just like old times, huh? Let's go. So, that's how I ended up in jail. Well, you have been busy, Georges. And this girl, what's her name? Mandy? Angela? Anna Maria. It never occurred to you that she's been playing you for a sucker? What? Nico! She's run you like dumb and dumber, don't you see? No, I don't. She's a victim in all this, just like me. And she's wonderful and fantastic and the best thing that's ever happened to me. And if you don't want to help me, then you can... Okay, okay. Just needed to know how sure you were about this whole thing. Well, I am sure, damn sure. Good. So now that's clear, Georges. What shall we do? Okay. I guess we need to get back into my room, somehow. Look for clues. Your cover's blown. So that's going to be up to me. I'll see if I can get us access to the rooms. Funny there's no cops here. I smell a trap. You're gonna be okay? Georges. I'm a little out of practice, but with an outfit like this, how difficult can it be, huh? Good luck. I'll hang back, keep my head down. Can I help you? You wouldn't appreciate this. But we always have the most fantastic celebrities staying here. Oh, yes. That old lady, the crime writer, didn't she... Da, get real. I'm talking pop stars, sportsmen, media giants, not fat old writers. And do you have any celebrities staying here now? Oh, 
yes. We have Eamon Omara. The Eamon Omara. Of course, he and I, we're like that now. Oh, like that? What a thought. Actually, what I really need is Eamon's room key. Oh, do you now? I can't really tell you why, but I'm a nun. You can trust me. Ha! If I gave you the key, you'd have to deal with Eamon himself. And I can tell you, last time I saw him, he was in a terrible mood. Actually, last time I saw him, he was in more than a terrible mood. What do you mean? He was dead. What? Gone. Passed away. But how? Took his own life. The poor, poor boy. But he and I were talking only an hour ago. Yes, it was very sudden. His heart was broken. Oh, God! By the way, he asked me to give you this photo of himself. So at the end, he was thinking of me? Oh, yes. He said... Remember me to... to the receptionist. He said that? Well, more or less, I don't recall exactly. So all those things he said to me, those words, he meant everyone? Oh, he did, he did. He really loved me. Yes, with all his heart. Oh, can I have the key? Of course. Should I go upstairs? No, I'm going to stay. Better not get on the wrong side of the receptionist. Can I help you? I'm fine, thanks. Though that bump on my head still hurts. I'm really worried about her, Nico. Should I go upstairs? No surprise they were guarding my room. If they'd spotted me, I'd have been toast. Maybe there's a back way to get in. Through the window. Yeah. Wait here, Nico. I'll see if I can climb down to the third floor. All right. Call me if you need anything. George, my boy, you are one lucky guy. This place is classy. Nice shower. So, Anna Marie and I were in room 304, a corner room. Must be that one there.
number you require is no longer available. better take that. Anna Maria's rosary. On the back of the cross, it says Memento Mori. this? A credit card receipt. Anything to report, officer? No, sir. Nothing. All right. I'll take over now. But, sir, I've got my orders. And I'm giving you new ones. Go. Ah. Mr. Stobart. No, no. Don't be alarmed. Father Nicholas? Your favorite priest, no less. And cop, too? Or is this another disguise? Cop. No. Somewhere within the panoply of Turkish military intelligence, yes. Oh, so you're a spook. You want to tell me what's going on? It is quite simple. When you flew into Istanbul, you triggered an alert. A mafia connection. Ah. Then, at top copy, you became a terrorist. Uh-huh. And finally, I realized you were just a treasure hunter. You figured right. A romantic profession. It appeals to my sense of drama. Glad you enjoyed the show. So, anyhow, now you are free. Go, please. Uh, there will be no guards downstairs, no problem at the airport. But what about Anna Maria? She's been kidnapped. So dramatic, Mr. Stobart. Kidnapped? <laughs> Run off, more like. Or maybe found a new boyfriend. Who knows? You have found another pretty girl. 
So, forget her. No, it's not like that at all. Go now, Mr. Stobart. I cannot guarantee you free passage for long. You made it! Mevlet, or rather Father Nicholas, helped me out. Really? I'll tell you about it later. I found a credit card bill. I might be able to trace Anna Maria's address from this. It's a credit card receipt from Leonardo da Vinci Airport signed by Anna Maria. Anna Maria's rosary. On the back of the cross, it says Memento Mori. <laughs> I am not going to do that. Anna Maria lives in Rome? Well, she never mentioned that. Nico, I've got it. It's a Rome address. 128 Vicolo Service Marite. Wow, the expensive part of town. So let's go see if she's home. Here we are. Vicolo Service Marite. How about that, George? You've fallen for a girl who lives in the very heart of the most romantic city in the world. Uh-huh. Shame she never told you. Y there's a cruel streak in you, Nico, that I never saw before. One two eight Vicolo Serve Smerite. This is it. The address on the credit card receipt. Anna Maria lives in this building, and so do some answers. Hmm. Just be careful around that car, please. You sure love your car, huh? What a shine. Oh no, it's the car. From my favorite action film of all time, In Cold Blood, starring Lucy Chu. Wow. Yes, wow. It was driven by Lucy Chu in a scene which was kept back for the special DVD. It must mean a lot to you. If anything happened to it, I think I'd die. Or worse. That's gotta be the cleanest, tiniest car in the whole world. So, this is Mark's star car, driven by the famous Lucy Chu. That's why it's in such good condition.
Looks like a door phone. I wonder who lives in this street. A green and unpleasant chunk of moldy bread. Are you doing what I think you're doing? What's that? Trying to take my bread? I can't help it. Find your own bins to raid, matey. That's mine. Ugh, he smells like a brewery. No, worse, like a brewery bathroom. Interesting, the guy's been hypnotized by Nico's butt. Excuse me. No, 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 excuse me. I was wondering if you could help me. I'm George Stobart. Well, somebody has to be. And you are? The Right Honorable, the Viscount Lonsdale. But you can call me Lord Lonsdale. Or my lord. Or just Lonsdale. Or Archie. Whatever pulls your goat. Hey, eh, what? If I'm not mistaken, you're British. Very astute of you, young Gary. Quite the bright spark for a yank. Well, I did excel in most of my classes. Except cookery. Well done. Excellent. Of course, I never went to school. No need. Lonsdale's got all they need up top at birth. So, why are you in Rome, Archie? This is a long story, Gregory. It's George. So it is. Anyhow, a few years back I was doing my party trick on the streets of Paris. Uncle Archie the Juggling Clown. Lovable. Lovely, lovely Archie. Then, one day... What happened? Oh, Jimmy Two Feet, that's what happened. Caught me with the proverbials down and... Uh, and? Blackmailed me. Uh, then, he, then he blackballed me. Never got over it. Destroyed my very soul, don't you know? So, are you a real Viscount? Oh, 148th in line to the throne of England, I think. Royalty, no less. I'm honored. So you should be, Giles, me old mucker. What do you know about Mark's car? Gets more attention than I've had hot women. Or is that dinners? If anything happens to it, the poor chap falls apart, comes to pieces. Tiny, tiny pieces. Don't you have any better food than that moldy piece of bread? This is full of goodness, dear boy. In the desert, we used to eat five-week-old bread and, and boil our socks for soup. What do you make of this? It's monstrous. What is it? It's an extendable golf club. Extendable? Well, well what on earth for? So it fits in your pocket. And if you don't mind my saying so, oh boy, you need to get out more. I've got no reason to try that. Hey, Nico, can you give me a hand? What do you need, George? You see Archie's moldy bread? Yes, George. Could you get it for me? I'm not stealing food from a tramp. If you want it so bad, get it yourself. Okay, only asking. The tramp over there believes he's a Viscount. Oh, yes? He's had one bottle too many. I think he passed that stage around 40 years ago. Excuse me. Hello there. I'm George Stobart. Two B's, two T's. The name's Mark. Brother Mark. Apartment 07. Licensed to sweep, huh? Oh, very good. Yes, that's me to a T. Something of a movie fan, are you? 
Nothing I like more than watching an action hero in action. Yep, those guys perform miracles, don't they? Miracles? Oh, well, you know. So, what can I do for you? So, what do you do, Mark? I'm a priest. At least, I'm going to be. I'm a trainee. A novice. I thought you looked too young to be a priest. Oh, <laughs> well, thanks. You don't look so bad yourself. What a nice guy. Really friendly. So what made you want to become a priest? That's a personal question, George. And I hardly know you. Secretive, huh? Sensible. Next thing I know, you might be trying to steal the secrets of the church. So the church has secrets, huh? Don't be ridiculous. Mark, I've got a little something I know you're gonna like. Why, George, aren't you the dark horse? What? Uh, yeah, yeah, anyway. I have here a photograph of Lucy Chu. Oh, George, it's heavenly. I'm aching with jealousy. Oh, quickly, Lord, forgive me. I wouldn't bank on it, Mark. So what's the deal with Archie over there? Hmm. Lecherous old miser. Of course, that could be just a cover. For what? He could be working for MI5 or 6. Or the agency. The world's full of spies, you know. You think so? Open your eyes to the interweb, my friend, and find out what's really happening in the world. Aha! Uh -huh. Well, maybe I'm a spy. I hardly think so. But look at Archie. A panther. Poised for action. He's got the 3,000 yard stare. I think that's the 3,000 proof stare. Never trust a man who only washes once a year. What's so special about In Cold Blood? Oh, it's a high octane ride into an awesome world of kitsch. Sounds amazing. It is, and possibly one of the most accurate depictions of undercover work ever. I can't believe a man of the cloth has a thing for an actress like Lucy Chu. She's strong, George. A woman to aspire to. Uh-huh. She knows her own mind and takes no nonsense from men. Respect. There's God, and then there's Lucy Chu. But wasn't she in that dodgy French movie, The Housemaid's Knee? And didn't she... Despise the sin, George, not the sinner. So what other movies do you like? Oh, Fly Hard, Bad Lads, The Bold Complacency. But there's still not a patch on In Cold Blood. So why become a priest? I abhor violence. Of course. I wonder if you can help us. We're looking for an apartment. 128 Vicolo Survey Smerite, number 8. Well, isn't that a coincidence? It's right there, and I'm next door to number 8 myself. Indeed, I know the lady who owns it. Do you mind me asking what your business with her might be? Oh, uh, we're renting the place from her. All the hotels are booked up. I see. Of course, with Il Papa's ecumenical service only days away, that's hardly surprising, is it? Yep, that old ecumenical service sure is as popular as ever. And yet, this is his first. We knew that. We knew that. That's why we're here. Il Papa's first. Go, Papa. Hmm. Well, enjoy your stay. And don't you worry. I'll be keeping a sharp eye out on you. What do you think of this, huh? Very clever. I invented it. It's telescopic. Clearly. I see you're a fan of the bimatrix shaft. Hey, now you're talking my language. Hi, Mark. Uh, can you spare a minute? For you, George, any time. So, tell me, your neighbor, Anna Maria, you know her quite well, do you? Oh, yes. Very pleasant girl. Not that I see much of her. How do you mean? She's never home for long. Bit of a jet-setter, if you ask me. Any idea what she does? I might and I might not. And if I did, I'm not sure I'd tell all and sundry. Oh. So, you're into conspiracy theories, huh? Big Brother is always watching. As they used to say at the monastery. 
No, I don't recall anyone ever saying that. What I mean is, people are often not who they say they are. Take that tramp, for instance. Well, he sure smells the part. Smoke and mirrors. Smoke and mirrors. Hmm. A priest with trust issues. Interesting. Hey, Nico, can you give me a hand? What do you need, George? Brother Mark's really friendly, isn't he? Only to you, George. I think you have a new friend. Well, I guess I'm just a lovable kind of guy. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't go that far. Last time I take you on a surprise vacation. Have you seen Mark's pride and joy? I'd rather have the Trebby from Prague. Yeah. Hey, remember that guard? Oh, thanks. I can still taste the garlic. That was a long time ago, huh, Nico? Yep. So what about the car? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's got cult status. For what? Being the worst car in the world? Well, he doesn't think so. Hmm. Maybe we can use that to our advantage. A fine native Italian shrub. Hmm. Nice plant. Can I help at all? No, I'm fine. Just trying to get inside. Well, here's a little hint. Keys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what kind of idiot am I, huh? I wonder, what kind are you? A fine native Italian shrub. Let's try the button. Pronto? Excuse me, I'm looking for a friend. She's blonde, about 5'10", and goes by the name of Anna Maria. <laughs> You're in the wrong part of town for that kind of thing. Try near the river. <laughs> Let's try the button. Yes? Excuse me, I have a friend I'm trying to trace. And who might that be? Her name is Anna Maria. She lives around here. Blonde hair? Green eyes? Yes. Nice parte posteriore? Uh, possibly. Ha! <laughs> Never seen her before in my life. But... Hey, Nico, can you give me a hand? What do you need, George? Uh, 
I've got no reason to try that. I've told you once. Sorry, force of habit. Hey, Nico, can you give me a hand? What do you need, George? Stay away from my car. It's very precious, and I've only just waxed. I'm sorry, I didn't realize. Well, please, look at the gleam and realize. Okay, I'm realizing. Hi, Mark. Uh, can you spare a minute? For you, George, any time. The main door to the apartment block is locked. I, I don't suppose you have a key, do you? I do, but I don't lend it out. Maybe you have a spare? I do, but I'm not going to tell you where it is. Hey, Nico, can you give me a hand? What do you need, George? fine native Italian shrub. Hmm, nice plant. A fine native Italian shrub. Hello again, Archie. Uh, can you spare a minute? For you, Georgie, my good fellow. Nothing. I mean, anything. <laughs> what do you make of Brother Mark? Brother Looney, more like, thinks I'm some sort of special forces soldier. I mean, me. Me? I can't see it myself. Exactly. I'm clearly officer material. So there's no love lost between you two? Oh, I like to wind him up, don't you know? Gets all flustered and flaps his gloves. So what exactly do you do? Old trick I picked up at Sandhurst. Attack the core to break the man. Or, or is it the other way around? Brother Mark says there's a spare key for that block of flats. I don't suppose you know where it's hidden. Oh yes, the key! Yes, I, I know where the key is, all right. Well? Well what? Where's the key? The key? Well, where it always is. You fool, under the plant pot to the left of the doorway. But you won't get it. He's damned cunning, that priest. We'll see. Hey, Archie. You seem a little distracted. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah. Blah. You seem to like my friend over there. Oh, what a girl! Face of an angel and the body of a Valkyrie warrior maiden. Lucky it's not the other way around, huh? Reminds me of my good lady wife. Oh, did something bad happen? Monte Cassino happened, old boy. Winter of 43. Me and General Lease up against Kessel Ring. Two against one? Good odds. I was the outsider. Caught a blighty one. <laughs> Never made it home. Hey, that's tough. Getting wounded. Wounded? Don't be silly, no? I got, I got drunk. I, I ran off with a nurse and opened the bar in Palermo. You are all heart, Archie. It's all hard, no liver to be precise. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, Nico, can you give me a hand? What do you need, George? You know, Archie appears to have taken a bit of a shine to you. You distract him while I try and steal his bread. So it's come to this, huh, George? That's the spirit. I say, that's too far. Even for Uncle Archie. Huh? Oh, can't a girl have a bit of fun anymore? That's too bad. I've told you once. Sorry, force of habit. Hey, Nico, can you give me a hand? What do you need, George? Hi, Mark. Uh, can you spare a minute? For you, George, any time. Get your hands off my shrubs. I didn't touch your shrubs. Well, anyone could see you want to. I've got to find a way to distract this guy. Hey, Nico, can you give me a hand? What do you need, George? Would you try and charm Mark to see if you can get us into the apartment? How do you mean? You know, use your feminine wiles to get the key to the apartment block. You really think it's going to work on him? Duh, he's a guy, isn't he? Well done, Nico. The bread is now mine. It's a cheap trick, but it ought to work. Oh no! My Lucy! My little Lucy! Go on! Shoo! Get away! That'll keep him busy. Here it is. Mark's a suspicious kind of guy, so it's no surprise his apartment door is locked. Besides, I don't really want to go in anyway. Damn it, it's locked. Nico, I'm going outside to try and find another way into the apartment. You wait here and watch the corridor for anyone coming. 
Yes, sir. Whatever you say, sir. Have we got a problem here? You want to try asking instead of telling for a change, George. Hey, you're right. I'm sorry. What would you like to do, Nico? How about I wait here and watch the corridor? Well, that's a good idea. Let's do that. I had to pick the ledge with the broken section. I just can't see into her flat from here. I should try another way. My arms just can't reach that far. That's not quite right. My arms just can't reach that far. It's the kitchen door for Anna Maria's apartment. At least, I hope it is. The bolt for the kitchen door is up, locking it. Aha! Stobart Industries is on to another winner.
Ta-da! Well done, Georges. Now let's find out who this girl really is. I don't believe it. It's a picture of Anna Maria, dressed as a nun. Cute nun. Uh, very cute. So what's the deal? This nun is Anna Maria. No way. Yes way, very way, in a big way. Whoa, you've been dating a nun, Georges. A nun! Well, she wasn't wearing all that gear when I met her. In some countries they execute you for that, Georges. Well, maybe she's not a real nun. Maybe she's at a costume party. Yeah, and those goons who attacked you in New York with the Seven Dwarves. Okay, you've had your fun. Now this is serious. Sorry, Georges, you're right. What's that she's standing in front of? I think it says... Memento Mori? It looks like it could be part of the Vatican walls. Terrific. They go for miles. Yep, they do. We should maybe look for something else to narrow it down. I'll take this. You never know when it might come in handy. Too bad I left my nun outfit back in Istanbul. Might have been useful. Eh, it didn't really suit you. Guess you're the expert. Oh, funny. Very funny. A simple but beautifully crafted Italian clock. The clock has stopped at 10.10. Anna Maria hasn't been back here or she'd have wound it up. Anna Maria must have been reading this before she left. The book's in Italian. I can't read a word. A little light bedtime reading, I see. I guess I'm more of an easy reading kind of guy these days. So maybe Anna Maria is a nun. What have I done? Anna Maria's bathroom scales. Airline ticket stub. Where from? Phoenix, Arizona. And just a few weeks ago. What was she doing in Phoenix? Nun convention? Oh, very funny. Anna Maria's laptop is very basic. Shortcuts to a video driver and access to the internet. Hmm. <laughs> Not even any games. Hey, Nico, can you give me a hand? What do you need, George? So, what do you think is going on, Nico? You really want to know? Sure. Well, at first I thought you'd been conned into helping some kind of robbery. And now? Now I think it's worse than that. Now I think you're caught up in some kind of conspiracy. Illegal shipments, fraud, or worse. Hmm. Last time I asked you for good news. Are those books interesting? Well, they are very technical. You know, Georges, things just don't add up. Are those books interesting? Well, they are very technical. You know, Georges, things just don't add up.
Hmm. Books on religion, science, history. Aspects of heavy metal transmutation. Interesting. Uh, but how's that going to help us find her? Science and religion. I don't get it. No, this is important stuff, Georges. I think I need to read some of these. I'm not in the mood for light reading just now. I've got to find out what happened to Anna Maria. It's the photograph of Anna Maria dressed as a nun. That makes me a little nervous. One metro ticket and some pocket lint. Where's the ticket for? Cipro Musee Vaticani Station. Uh, that's somewhere near the Vatican walls, I think. Perhaps that's close to where the photo of Anna Maria was taken. I've got enough information to work with now. Nico, I'm going to follow up this nun lead. Sure. I'll stay here and look through these books. Well, you don't want to come with me? No, thanks. I'll wait here until you get back. Aha! So you managed to get in then? Yes, thank you. Through the door, I see. Yeah. With a key? Uh-huh. Oh, the key! <laughs> You know what? I had it in my pocket all along. I see you've made yourself at home, too. Well, when in Rome... When in Rome? When in Rome... Make yourself at home. Hmm. I don't suppose you know when Anna Maria will be back. I have a package for her. Ah, uh, she could be gone for some time. You'd better give it to me. No, I don't think so. I'll keep it for now. Wouldn't like it to fall into the wrong hands. Good day, now. Uh, yeah. Have a nice one. Where should I go? I think I'll go to the Vatican. So the metro ticket was a clue. Just a short walk and here I am. It's the place in the photograph. I wonder what's behind those walls. Hello? Ah, oh, yes. I was wondering if you could help me. I'll do my best. I'm Sister Serena. How can I help? Can you tell me, have you seen this woman before? Hmm, I don't recognize the face, but I've only been here for about a year. Maybe she was here before my time. Maybe. Well, thank you for your time. Pleasure. Oh, really? Yes, of course. Of course. <laughs> hmm. The plaque reads Monastery of the Order of St. Michael. So this place is a monastery? 
The possibility of Anna Maria being a nun is becoming all too real. Excuse me. I'm looking for someone. Well, don't you understand English? Huh. The silent treatment, huh? Excuse me. Yes? I was wondering if you could answer a few questions for me. I don't think so. Oh, that's a shame. I was praying that you would. Were you now? Praying sincerely? Well, I didn't do the whole on the knees number. Mm. All right. Since you have at least tried to ask nicely, I shall spare you a couple of minutes. What can you tell me about the Holy Order of St. Michael? It's been established for hundreds of years. Is there nothing else you can tell me about the Order? If you wish to know more, I suggest you ask them. I must return to my work. So, what is this place? None of your business. Oh, come on. It's not like it's the secret headquarters of an evil mastermind. So, what's a nun like you doing in a place like this? Was that meant to be a joke? Well, it didn't start out as one, but I think I took a wrong turn somewhere. I don't like jokes. What? Never? Jokes distract from the pursuit of inner peace. Oh. Heard the one about the actress and the bishop? No! And I don't want to. You're lost, sister. Sister Angelica to you. So, what do you do here? I have pastoral responsibility for the nuns. Any problems and they come to me. Have you ever seen this woman before? No, never. Are you sure? This looks like it was taken outside the doorway to the Holy Order. Are you calling me a liar? No, sorry. I was just... If you must know, I haven't been here for very long. Perhaps she was before my time. Well, thank you for your time. My pleasure. Just what do you think you're doing? Oh, I'm sorry. I just wanted one of those tissues on your desk. Did it not occur to you to ask? <laughs> Sneeze first, ask questions later. <laughs> That's what I was taught. That's not quite right. just yet. I need more information. The trash can's full of papers and candy wrappers. Nothing useful. No way am I doing that. I'm still trying to get into this place. It's not going to be easy. I think the Vatican's designed that way, Georges. I guess so, but I'll find a way. You 
tourist. What do you think you're doing? Is this the place where we booked the open top bus? No, no, no. It is down the road. Approximately 3.5 kilometers. Heck, those are some pants. Do they sell them here? No, you are being foolish. If you have inquiries, please use the doorbell. Whoa, Rome. One hell of a place, huh? Oh, it's you again. How can I help you? What can you tell me about the Holy Order of St. Michael? Why, you're talking to one of its sisters. So this building is part of the same place as the Holy Order? That's correct, even though we are a separate entity. We fall under the umbrella of the Holy Order of St. Michael. And what a beautiful umbrella that must be. It's not a real umbrella. Oh. That's just a way of speaking. Sure. Perhaps you can tell me, what is this place? Why, we're the Sisters of Mercy Communion Wafer Supplies. We've been making communion wafers for over 70 years. The Ladies of the Wafer, they call us. Ah, so you make the little wafers that people eat in church? We prefer to think of them as humble slivers of bread, transformed through the miracle of transubstantiation, into the body and blood of Christ himself. Yeah, that's what I meant. Well, thank you for your time. Pleasure. Hello, Sister Angelica. You again. What is it this time? How long have you been making communion wafers? How did you know we made communion wafers? Uh, it says it in the guidebook. Hmm. Well, as it happens, we are the leading communion wafer developer in the world. Way to go! Well, thank you for your time. My pleasure. Where should I go? I'll go back to Anna Maria's apartment. Hey, Nico, can you give me a hand? What do you need, George? Are those books interesting? Well, they are very technical. You know, Georges, things just don't add up.
Got it. The number for the wafer factory is 0039-06-6981-5956. Hello, Sisters of Mercy Communion Wafer Supplies. Sister Serena speaking. How may I help you? Hi, I'd like to speak to a Sister Angelica of the Sisters of Mercy, please. Certainly. Who may I say is calling? Tell her it's Brother Angus from St. Peregrine's, please. Just one moment, please. Sister Angelica, phone call. Hello? Who is this? Hey, it's Brother Angus. I was just looking through my address book and I thought I'd give you a ring. Yeah, so how's it cooking, baby? The only Brother Angus I know took a vow of silence 30 years ago. Yep, that's me. Doesn't time fly when you're being quiet? Hmm. I think I preferred you with your mouth shut. Goodbye, Angus. Well, so much for catching up on my news, then. Where should I go? I think I'll go to the Vatican. Calling the wafer factory from here isn't going to work. It wouldn't take a genius to figure out it's me calling. Communion Wafer Supplies. Sister Serena speaking. How may I help you? Hello there. Is Angie in, please? Angie? Uh, Sister Angelica, the one with the lovely smile and the beautiful personality. I don't know who you mean. Unless... Oh, just one moment, please. Sister Angelica, phone call. It's her schedule for the day. Hmm. Looks like the health inspector's coming. Here she is. Time to put this back where I found it. 